Today, we're checking out a bunch of my tortoises that call my jungle home, and by a bunch of them, I mean every single species. We've hey, buddies! Come on, and you see all those incredible bands and lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs. And you would you like some egg right here? Oh, so mom is eating her own egg. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we're checking out a bunch of my tortoises that call my jungle home and by a bunch of them, I mean every single species. We've got red foots, yellow foots, cherry heads, star tortoises, radiated tortoises, Galapagos tortoises, Aldabra tortoises, literally the craziest, most rare and endangered tortoises in the world. I care for them, I breed them. I absolutely love these tortoises, so to get today's video started off, we're gonna do a full tour. I'm gonna show you each and every different species that calls my jungle homes. We're gonna be checking them all out. Then we're gonna be going in my red foot tortoise pen. We're gonna be digging up some eggs and we've got a ton of baby tortoises actually hatching out in the incubator right now. So we're gonna be going in the incubator. We're gonna be checking out what's hatching out, how many are hatching out, if they're all healthy and alive. So if you guys wanna see that, well, you are in the right place. So to start out today, we are gonna check out our baby Galapagos in Aldabra, which is in this pen right here. Then we got the big Galapagos out here. So let's start out with our babies right here. So these are some tiny little guys right here. These are some raise ups. Hello guys. So right now we've got our Galap here in our Aldabra. Now the biggest way you can tell these two apart here is basically how their shells look. You can see that the Aldabra has got like this rounded dome shell and then the Galapagos is more of kind of like this regular circle type shell so you can really see the difference kind of head on and the Aldabra actually has a pig nose whereas the Galapagos has just you know an ET looking face and for those of you that don't know ET was actually designed after the Galapagos tortoises so these are two raise ups that are about a little over a year now these guys have got absolutely perfect shells but they definitely want down so we're gonna let them free so for the most part their diet consists of the different grasses and weeds that grow in here we've got some fresh water for them so we're gonna flip this on back over because they want to go right back on in there so now that you guys got to see the baby Galapagos and Aldabra well let's go check out the big guys Hey buddy! So we have my young Galapagos tortoise here that I've raised up since a baby. And let's see if he wants a carrot. You can see he's getting real big, pushing 80 pounds. Look, wait, chomp it. Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, uh. Uh, wait, you're staying in the carrot. Come on, buddy. Come on, and guys, look at that. With such ease, he's able to munch on the carrot. And if that right there was my finger, well, guys, it would probably be gone. I've had this guy since he was a tiny little baby, but now he is no longer a baby. He's turning into one giant tortoise. Look at that. Probably pushing 80 pounds. We're just going to put him right back on down gently. Awesome Galapagos tortoise, but now we've got one that's pushing probably 200 pounds, so let's go see him. And we have my big giant Galapagos tortoise here, which is a little shy because our baby Galapagos tortoise is actually a big bully. So this guy is not really wanting to eat, but as you can see, come here, you want some? Look, I'm just going to throw the carrots on the ground. He might go for them. And as you can see, this is one ginormous tortoise right here. If I'm laying next to him, he's massive, probably pushing about 200 pounds now, but that's not even nearly full grown. When the galops are full grown, if this is a male, it's gonna be about 500 pounds, and females, about 350. So now that we got to check out my Galapagos and Aldabra tortoises, well, we're gonna head to my back grove and we're gonna check out my cherry heads and my yellow foots. All right, all right, here we are. So we got all different tortoise pens all interconnected. So in here we have yellowfoot tortoises, we have breeder cherry heads in this pen, and then we have some other cherry heads in here, some raise ups, we got a lot of plants in here, we gotta keep it nice and natural. And what's really cool is all of this leaf litter has fallen in here. We've got today's meal, which is greens and sweet potato. But let me show you guys these cherry heads hanging out. Most of them will be in here right now. So. Look at that, we got all these cherry head tortoises. Now, from the, from the outside, they look like normal tortoises, but when you pick them on up like this, and you bring them over to the water, you can see that marbling, which is what's highly sought after. So if you bring them to the water, and you put that water on them, then the true colors are really gonna come on out. You can see that marbling and why it's so sought after, because it's this really cool color on them, which in person, it honestly looks even better than on camera. 
and this tortoise has a bunch of dirt on it. So once it's fully cleaned up, it looks really crazy. So over in here, we have some more cherry heads. We're just gonna lift this on up. We've got some big breeders in here. We've got two males and two females. So we just saw basically the same one. So I'm just gonna close this on down from just like that. But right over here, we've got something just a little bit different, which is the yellowfoots. So what's the difference between yellowfoots and redfoots? Well, yellowfoots for one, a lot of the times are a lot bigger. And they call them yellowfoots because you can see that instead of being orange or cherry, they're completely yellow. The shell's kind of yellow, their feet yellow, and their head's yellow. We've got all females in here, so if you're watching this and you have a male that you want to sell, well guys, give me a call. And I am on the market right now for yellowfoot males because we got three females. The males are really hard to come by. And just captive breeding yellowfoots, well, it's really hard to do. This is another tortoise pen that I have set up that we just did. Shout out to my zookeeper Gabe for setting this up. He did a great job. So we got leaf litter, we got a house, and it's covered by this canopy of trees which keeps it nice and shaded. These guys are hanging out. So you guys got to see all the tortoises that are here in my back grove. So now we're gonna go check out some really crazy cool stuff, which this stuff is crazy and cool, but these other ones I'm gonna show you are my absolute favorite, which are my radiated tortoises and my star tortoises. All right, so this area here is where I keep some of my radiated and star tortoises. So we got baby radiated in here. We've got a bigger radiated. We've got some star tortoises and we have my zookeepers Sokata Redfoot hybrids. Yes, you heard that right. We've got some really crazy hybrid tortoises here. Now, some people are not a fan of hybrid tortoises. I think they're cool. I personally wouldn't breed them myself, but to have a Sokata Redfoot hybrid, it's really cool and I'm gonna show you that. But before we're gonna check those guys out, we're gonna see some baby radiated tortoises from Madagascar. So have them in here. I'm just gonna reach my hand on them. We got three, we've got one, we've got two and we've got three so you can guys can see why these are some of my favorite tortoises because each one has a very unique shell so each one has this different pattern that you see and this is why they call them radiated tortoises because the pattern is kind of radiating off of them the center you see all those incredible bands and lines so this one out of this little group this one's my favorite tortoise right here so really cool guys and all of these radiated tortoises are actually critically endangered yep you heard that right all these radiated are critically endangered species due to poaching on the island of madagascar as well as feral cats habitat loss so these guys need our help that's why we want to have a captive population of radiated tortoises because where they live is under constant threat and if we don't do anything to protect them well they could go extinct. Now, right now we're in with my bigger radiated tortoise and let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful boy right here. So I've had this one since it was just about a year old and you can see just how incredible this male radiated is turning out. You can see he's got these incredible colors and he's getting to be quite large. You see he's like really big, probably pushing six pounds right now six seven pounds all right come here big boy i'm gonna put you on down just like this but if you come right over here you're gonna really be able to see him right now he's got this really cool habitat one of the coolest tortoises i have and just getting to be able to have these and potentially breed them one day well it's just incredible so those four are my radiated tortoises now we're going to check out my star tortoises which look kind of similar but they're actually very different so right in here is the star tortoise pen and they're probably hiding in here, so I'm gonna go crawl in here and get them on out. So we've got one star tortoise, we've got two star tortoises, and we've got three star tortoises here today. And here they are. Now we've got all these star tortoises here. These are actually all males, so you can see they look kind of similar. They all have this pattern, but these star tortoises specifically are actually from Burma, India. So these guys right here are from India, and they're why they're called Burmese star tortoises because they're from Burma, India. We got Mr. One-Eyed Wheelie right here. He's missing an eye, but he's all healthy. So he's missing an eye, but he's still a good tortoise. Another critically endangered species that I have here. So soon I'm gonna be adding some females so we can hopefully breed these guys. And now I'm gonna show you guys the Sokata Redfoot hybrids, which are, they're in here somewhere. So we got one of them and we've got, let's see, we got another one here. Now these are, don't belong to me. These belong to my zookeeper and we're just housing them here temporarily. So right now when you look at them, if you were to just look at the top of the shell, you'd think they're a sulcata because this honestly looks like a baby sulcata. But when you actually pick them up, you can see the feet are like a sulcata, but they're red like a red foot. 
it's really crazy to see them. So right now you can really see we got more of this Sokata looking shell. And then the neck, you can see all that orange that goes back on the neck. So unlike most red foots, their neck isn't as orange, but these guys are crazy looking right now. They're super colored, super orange, and just a really weird animal. So now that you guys got to see my Galapagos, my Aldabra, my Cherry Heads, my Yellow Foots, my Radiated Star Tortoises, my Zookeeper Sokata Red Foot Hybrids, well now we are going to head over to my ginormous Red Foot Pen. I saw some tortoises nesting there a couple hours ago, so let's go check it out. This new female that I just got a couple days ago just laid all of these eggs. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eggs, plus three more inside that actually cracked. Now, as you can see, this one, unfortunately, when I dug it up, was already cracked, which means we're gonna feed it to some tortoises right here. Redfoot tortoises are actually meat eaters, so they will eat meat, especially eggs. And when the eggs get cracked, this is an excellent way to give some extra protein to the tortoises right here. So we're gonna give this one a couple bites right here. They're eating the calcium from the shell. But we're definitely gonna give some to Big Mama, because Big Mama right here could definitely use the extra calcium since she just laid all these magnificent eggs for us. So would you like some egg right here? Oh, so mom is eating her own egg, which is gonna be um, essential at you know replenishing the nutrition back into her that she lost while laying those eggs. A lot of calcium, it took a lot of force to actually dig those nests. So to see mama tortoise eat her egg, well that's pretty cool to be able to you know replenish those nutrients for her. So we're gonna leave that egg right here and we gotta put our two more eggs very gently and delicately right here. So we got one and two right here, just like that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs. And you can see this is one of the cracked ones. And Mama Tortoise is just going for this egg real hard. She's going for that yolk. It's nice and juicy and plentiful for her. And these redfoot tortoises are omnivores. So not only do they eat mainly vegetables and fruits, but they're one of the few tortoise species that are opportunistic and will eat proteins. Guys, come here. I've got some egg for you. Oh, he's going. Guys, this is one of my handicapped redfoots, and he's just munching away on the eggs. This one suffers from a metabolic bone disease, so giving giving this tortoise this extra calcium right here will be really good for him. Here you go. You want some? So good. So yummy. So not only did I just find eggs already laid here, but right here I just found another female actually nesting right now. So hold on, this female's gonna get in her way, but I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see those little white eggs in there right now. She's just intricately designing her nest right here, and you can see those little white eggs just way on in there. It looks like we got one, two, three eggs so far. We could have up to six. We just got 14 eggs, but guys, let me know right now, how many eggs do you think she's gonna lay? You can really see the eggs right now if I just kind of move this. You can see that she's actually, I'm not sure if she's gonna deposit any more eggs. It looks like she's, yep, it looks like she's actually digging out the dirt more so she can lay more eggs. You can see she's moving her leg just kind of in that motion back and forth to kind of pull the dirt out. You can see right here that all of this right here is that loose debris and that loose dirt that she actually dug out to lay those eggs. All right, so I made it into my office, and in my office is where I keep my incubator. So I have two different ones set up. I have this smaller one that I use as a secondary, and then this right here is kind of like my main one. So, oh, I see there's a cracked egg right here. So in each one of these individual tubs, there's all tortoise eggs. I've got both cherry head and regular red foot eggs in here and yellow foot eggs. So we got all different tortoise eggs in here. Now I want to check this out first because look, there's baby tortoises right here. I put that bin in there because it was starting to hatch. So let's see what we got going on. If they hatched out, let's see. Let's pull this on out right now. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Do you see that guys? We got all kinds of baby tortoises. Look. So right in here we have one, two, three, four, five, and... Yeah, we got five baby tortoises here. Look at this, this is insane. So first off, this one is already catching my eye as being like the prettiest one to hatch on out. Look at this little guy right here. He's got tons of really cool orange. You can see he's pretty much absorbed his yolk sac already. Awesome little tortoise. So we're just gonna put him right aside right now. We've got another one right here, which this is actually, I believe a Katinga cherry head, just based on the coloring right here. So we got another little tortoise there. We've got another one right here, and all of these guys look like they hatch within like the last day or so. You can see they've got the yolk sac. So we got another little baby tortoise, which is so tiny. So we got three. We have our fourth one right here, which he might have just started hatching. Yep, you can see he just started hatching right here. 
He still has his little yolk sack right here. Look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten incredible baby tortoises. Now, this one right here on the tip of this finger, right here with the extra scoot, that's one of our cherry heads. We got about three different cherry heads in here, regular red foots. This is so incredible to be able to live out my dream each and every day. Getting to hatch out these incredible animals right here. So, these guys are on the move. So, we're just going to kind of let them just down in right here. These are some soft moss right here so it's fine that the little tortoise is going here it's like a little bed for them i'm just going to flip them on over we have got to set up some more bins for them and like i was telling you guys these baby tortoises right here are going to be on the website in a few weeks so if you buy a red foot in about three weeks then you might get one of these exact tortoises but if you go to my website right now we have some previous about year old baby red foots available awesome baby so that my friends is going to end today's episode i hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video getting to see all of the tortoises that call my jungle home we got to see some awesome species today you guys got to see these incredible babies hatching out we also got to dig up some tortoise eggs so you guys got the full tour here today so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below a prayer for our red foot with the deformed face. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more tortoises, you wanna see the rest of my jungle, well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.